how is everyone doing? And welcome to the stat room. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now week one, and I'm gonna give you three games that you can choose players from that can help you to cash or actually win a GPP. And if you're watching me for the first time, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also leave a comment. So without wasting any more of you guys' time, let's get into this video. So before I begin this video, guys, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment, guys. Thank you. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So if you're going to take a chance on this million dollar contest, guys, I'm going to give you three games that I believe can help you to actually win this whole thing, guys. So the first game up on the bat list, guys, we're going to go with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, if you look at your boy Lawrence, last year. His first game against this team, he put up 18 fantasy points. Second game, he put up over 20 fantasy points. See on the screen, 18.5. And his second game against them, he put up 24.9. What that tells you is that Lawrence is a student of this game, meaning that he went and he looked at the film. So Lawrence is going to be the first player that we will use. I believe Lawrence has a chance to get you 30 fantasy points week one. He did one 30-point game last year. This will be his fourth or fifth time facing this team. And I believe he's gonna be ready, guys. So we're definitely gonna go with Lawrence. Now, when you look at ETN, we're not gonna go with ETN because last year he didn't really have big numbers against this team. And the Indianapolis Colts is getting their all pro middle linebacker back. He had eight fantasy points the first time he faced them. And if you look at the second time he faced them, he had 11 fantasy points. So I don't believe he's gonna be a factor because I believe Lynn is gonna shut the run game down. Now, when you look at the receiver position, absolutely love Kirk and Ridley. So let's look at Kirk. Last year, Christian Kirk, his first game, he did okay against this team. His first game, he had 22.8. That's pretty good, right? His second game against this team, he went down a little bit, 8.8. .8. Now, 8.8 .8 is good. That's just That just means he, that he only had a touchdown, but he didn't get a lot of yards. This year, he's going to be back in his normal position because last year, they had him playing outside of what he normally does he's a slot receiver guys and they had him playing outside the numbers and stuff like that that he did okay but this year he'll be able to be in the slot which means he'll go up against the third best cornerback which is going to be deadly for this jacksonville passing attack ridley is a wide receiver that plays outside of the numbers the numbers is any of those numbers like the 10 the 20 and you go from there to the outer bound line that's outside of the numbers, and this is where Ridley is going to excel. Lawrence throws a great deep ball, so I think Ridley can get you 18 to 20 fantasy points week one. Now, Evans, I believe he's going to have a down year because when you add an explosive player like Ridley, somebody has to take over. Somebody's numbers have to go down. Somebody's targets have to go down, and I believe Evans' targets will go down. Now, he is a candidate to get a touchdown around the end zone, but I don't think he will. Now, the Jacksonville Jaguars defense, you have to play the Jacksonville Jaguars defense because they're playing against a rookie quarterback in Richardson, like the young man, but his first game and he didn't do well in the preseason. His completion percentage was around 47, 48 percent. I believe he's going to throw one touchdown, but I think he's going to throw two picks and I think he's going to throw a pick six. I think because I know these, these rookie quarterbacks, guys, they love the quick slant, the comeback route. If you pick off a quick slant, it's always a touchdown. And I believe the Jacksonville Jaguars defense will squat on these short routes. And I believe they're going to force him to go deep. I'm not sure at this early stage of his career that he can do that. Now, he will get a lot of numbers running the ball. But I think other than that, I think the Colts will be limited. I don't like anybody from the Colts except for one player. And you have to take a chance on him. And it's Deion Jackson. Guys, he faced this team at home last year, put up over 20 fantasy points, guys. Let's look at him real quick. Early in the year, he had 12 attempts for 42 yards, had a touchdown, caught 10 out of 10 balls. What do you think Richardson is going to do in this zone running scheme when he's in trouble? He's running for his life. He's going to throw and dump off this ball to Jackson. I see Jackson getting at least seven balls thrown his way. And guys, at 5'6", if he gets you 12 fantasy points, he don't really hurt your lineup. But what if he gets you 20? You got to take that gamble. GPP is about gambling, guys. Now, I don't like any of the skill position players. So, guys, we're going to go to the next game. And the next game is going to be the Minnesota Vikings versus the, versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 
You got Kirk Cousins at quarterback, guys. Kirk Cousins is actually someone you could take a chance with as well. If you look at Kirk Cousins, guys, look at how many 20-point games he had. And he had a 30-point game. Look, 25 um, at the Giants. He had 24. He had 34 against Indianapolis. See what I'm saying? You can throw against Indianapolis, guys. Now, Kirk Cousins against Tampa Bay, I think it's a it's going to be a little bit more challenging than it will be for Trevor Lawrence. And that's why we're going to go with Lawrence over Cousins. But I absolutely do love, love Kirk Cousins, guys. And in week one, Kirk Cousins typically does well. So you can also consider him, guys. But Minnesota has a new running back. Not really like Madison. Not at 7-3. I think there's other running backs on the board that's around this same price range. I think with having so many miles to feed, Madison will have to get his numbers, I would say, around the goal line. He probably, because every running back can get into the end zone. But at 7-3, you're hoping to get you 21 fantasy points. I'm thinking he'll get you more like 16 to 18. So I believe we can fade him, guys. But someone we won't fade is Justin Jefferson. This young man in week one games, he just he's just phenomenal, guys. Whenever he plays at home to start the season, last year he had 34 fantasy points. Don't be shocked if he gets you 25 plus. So we're going to lock Justin Jefferson in. Hawkinson just received the biggest contract for a tight end. You don't get those kind of numbers when they're not going to throw you the ball. He was one of their most sought after receivers last year. Look, he had 16, 12 targets and their rookie receiver Addison might be suspended to start the season. So Hawkinson will be the number two option in a pass happy offense. He will probably get 11 balls thrown his way. So we're going to lock him in as well. But there is one player that I do love from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers guys. And this player that I love is white and let's look at white numbers guys he had seven targets against dallas seven runs guys and six targets put up nine fantasy points didn't get in the end zone but look nine fantasy points but look in all of these limited games guys he's not getting a lot of opportunity because he split carries with fournette that's not going to be the case this time and minnesota can't stop the run or the pass look 13 13 15 don't be shocked if white gets you 15 to 21 fantasy points and that's how you win a gpp no one's gonna run him guys everybody is looking at henry everyone is looking at josh jacobs everybody's looking at mccaffrey but this guy is 6-4 guys if he gets you 12 fantasy points he don't hurt but if he get into the end zone guys he can get you 20 fantasy points so that's who you take a chance with evans is pissed off guys he gave this team to the knife to either get a contract extension or he wants out. I believe he plays and I believe this is going to be his last year. Him and Godwin are both good options, but do you trust Baker Mayfield to get them the ball? That's the key. But Evans is going to catch at least one deep ball, guys. If you look, he had a big monster 40 point game. He had some 20 point games. Godwin is more consistent. Godwin is more consistent to get you 10. But guys, I believe I have a player to finish this lineup off that's Cheaper than these guys. So we're going to go to the last game that I want to talk about, guys. And it will be the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the 49ers. So we'll look at the 49ers first. Now you got Debo Samuel and Ayuk. Ayuk seems to be Brock Purdy's favorite receiver. So I do like him. I don't believe Kittle is going to play. He seems to be injured. I do like Brock Purdy, guys, but on the road, I'm not a fan of Brock Purdy. So the last receiver that I'm going to give you guys is going to be a Steeler. I'm going to give you a Pittsburgh Steeler, and I'm going to give you guys Pickens. He was in my last video. I will run him in one of my lineups, guys. Absolutely love Pickens. I'm going to do two lineups this week. I'm going to run Pickens in one. Just look at his numbers. It just jumps off the chart. He caught three balls for 70, 72 yards, guys. What will happen week one? He's going to have one of those 40-point bombs. He's going to catch some deep balls. Don't be shocked if he has four catches for 130 yards, guys. This guy has, is one of the best deep ball catchers that I've seen in some time. 
So run him with confidence, guys. And that's it. So you got Jacksonville, Deion Jackson, Hawkinson, Pickens, Jefferson, Ridley, White, and Lawrence. You can pick the last running back yourself. So that's it, guys. So guys, don't forget to win-win. That means give people what they want so you can get what you want. And guys, don't forget to think and ink. That means write it down so that way it can come true. Good hunting week one. Let's take down this million-dollar tournament. Love you guys.